this was a very uh, organized for a bunch of local people, a very organized organization where they were heading it in the front door and selling it out the back door for 100% profit. They were taking school district buses, as you can see from the chart to my far right, school district vans, buses, and giving them away to a, uh, a junkyard. That's Joel Zober up in Pipersville. And was getting nothing in return cash. What they were getting was all their people, all their friends got to go to that junkyard and get parts free of charge for all the classic cars and everything they've been working on. We're looking at somewhere right now about a million and a half for both the ghost employees and the, uh, the other organization in theft over the last, you know, uh, for the parts, at least the last 10 years that we could track back. So it's, it's really a, a well-planned uh, uh, criminal conspiracy here of these individuals all working together to get this merchandise out and to get some cash coming in. Sixteen individuals basically that were ordering equipment through the school district. And what we're talking about today is there was a, a lot of equipment that was ordered, but we focused in on two specific things, and that was uh, school bus tires, tires, and batteries. And they were ordering through the school district, through the discounted rate that the school district gets to begin with, through consortiums and things of that nature, at, let's say, approximately $300 a tire, and that's an average, and they were selling them out the back door for $150. So they were making all profit on it. And that culminated in the arrest, which is happening right now, of the 16 individuals, the Breakfast Club. These are individuals that were involved in classic cars and met, uh, you know, a couple times a week, had breakfast together, and they were... They were getting parts for their cars through the school district or through other organizations that may have benefited from the tires and other equipment through the school district. The first instinct, particularly in education administration, it seems, is to, ooh, well, wait a minute, this is going to look bad. Is there a way we can sweep this under the rug? And that's exactly not what happened here. Uh, and as a result, uh, as the director points out, uh, 20 people uh, at least are going to be held accountable for their actions. Okay, K in it. Call me later, okay? Our ability to deliver the quality of education that we want to deliver was diminished because of resource uh, uh, allocation or misallocation. We deeply regret that these incidents occurred. Uh, we will ensure that they do not occur in the future.